Postromedial approach to the tibial plateau This video has been produced from a book source. We would like to thank the editor Frieden Kirschbaumer, Kirschbaumer, Frieden et al. 2015 Operative Approaches in Orthopedic Surgery and Traumatology. Postromedial approach to the tibial plateau This video has been produced from a book source. We would like to thank the editor Frieden Kirschbaumer, Kirschbaumer, Frieden et al. 2015 Operative Approaches in Orthopedic Surgery and Traumatology. Principal Indications. Posteromedial Fracture Dislocation of the Tibial Plateau. Positioning and Incision. The patient is placed supine. A tourniquet is applied to the leg. The side of the thigh is supported. The operated leg is elevated with the knee flexed to 60 to 70 degrees. The contralateral leg is lowered. The subcutaneous tissue is divided sharply, and the pes and serenus is identified. One superficial crural fascia. Two superficial part of the pes and serenus. Three semimembranosus. Four tibial collateral ligament. Incision of the crural fascia at the posterior border of the tibial collateral ligament, running from the inferior border of semimembranosus as far as the upper border of the pes and serenus. One superficial crural fascia, incised. Two superficial part of the pes and serenus. Three semimembranosus. Four tibial collateral ligament. Five gastrocnemius, medial head. Six medial tibial condyle. The superficial part of the pes and serenus is retracted caudally, and the medial head of gastrocnemius is retracted posteriorly. The extra articular fracture components are exposed subperiosteally. One superficial crural fascia, incised. Two superficial part of the pes and serenus. Three semimembranosus. Four tibial collateral ligament. Five gastrocnemius, medial head. Six medial tibial condyle. Wound closure. The tourniquet is released. Following hemostasis and irrigation, a redon drain is inserted if necessary, and the wound is closed in layers. Dangers. Hematoma. Deep vein thrombosis. Infection. Lower leg compartment syndrome. Injury to the neurovascular structures. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube. Thanks for watching.